Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. I'm not supposed to be back by now. Um, um. It's okay, don't worry. You can go. Thank you. 
Kandu. Yeah, bro. We lost him around here. No! We must not lose this guy. We must get him. Of course, he must die. That was the contract. And I think he should be somewhere around there. That's Chief. Hello, Chief. Not really, sir. We are still on it. We got him, but he escaped. We'll get him, sir. Yes, Chief. What next? Let's go. I will leave you behind if you are not true yet. See who is talking. Hmm? You've not bothered yourself and you're threatening to leave behind who is done binding hands. Chimo, are you serious? What have I been doing that made a sluggish girl like you to finish before me? Eh? You just called me sluggish, Okwaya. Okay, fast girl. You see that luggage girl? She will leave you behind today. Wait, Vico. Mm, today that you finish before me, I will not hear a word. <laughs> Bad mouth. Lego don't need you, cook. <laughs> Mm. And what makes you believe he is going to take my course when he's refusing yours? I am worried. Even the driver is not picking up too. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, let me call Ugoma. I'm sure he will be with her. That's better. Okay. Hello, princess. Yes, dear. Um, I just want to know if my brother is with you. The prince? Yes. No, no, I haven't seen him for uh, some days now. Why? I hope there's no problem. No, there's no problem at all. My mom is just being unnecessarily worried. You know mothers. <laughs> Tell her not to worry. Huh? I'm sure he's um, chilling with some of his friends. But I'll try and reach him. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. -a. What did she say? Mom, he's not with her. What? Mom, just relax. Come and sit down. I, I, Mom, just relax. Just come and sit down. It's just Mom. not that. Mom, just calm down. Mom. Ethan is not a kid. He'll be fine. Of course I know. But the fact that he's not taking my calls makes me worry. What's wrong with this motherfucker? I haven't seen him for days now and he's been avoiding me. No, like, seriously, where the hell would that idiot be? Now he won't pick up his mother's call. Mom. No. My family's gonna come back. Just relax. You need a drink. Where are all those maids? Maids? Mom, just relax. They'll get you a drink. Maids!
serious. So you went to his place last night. Ah, uh, yeah. My father went to the biggest palace on a majestic council meeting. Uh -huh. So now he used the opportunity to sneak out. <laughs> I see. Your father seems to be the only thing standing between you and boys, Abby. Mm -hmm. mm. Since your mother has gone for Mugu. Mm. I hope he satisfied you. <laughs> Talk now. Anyway, I know he did because if not, you wouldn't have been talking of going to see him again. Satisfy me with what? Eh. Uh, no. Swear you don't know what I'm talking about. Not again. You just call me pretender. Uh -huh. See, yeah, if you call me pretender, I'll use this machine to design this pretty face yes. up. <laughs> yes. Are you the only one that has machine? Me, I have my own. Mm. I'll just use. I'll take my machete. Sorry, wait. Where's my machete? Uh -uh. Hi. Eh? Wait. Are you sure I didn't forget it's where we bonded our firewood? Maybe. Uh. Oh. And my mother told me not to go to the farm with it. The machine belongs to my late father. I have to. I'm not going there with you. No, no. My, my, if I would be safe, give me your this. Let me call something. Take. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no, go well. Go well, eh? Okay. on this tree when I spoke with Chief. Shit! We are so stupid! This way. I tried reaching your son since afternoon. No. The last time I spoke with him was in the morning when he was leaving the palace. Why? I've been trying to reach him since afternoon, but he's not picking. Even the driver is now also taking his calls. Are you serious? Well, maybe he doesn't want to be disturbed wherever he is. Oh my lord. You and I know he didn't go for pleasure's sake. He left to meet with some business associates. And that explains why he doesn't want to be bothered with your calls. He may be in some serious meeting with his associate as we're speaking. So relax yourself. He will definitely call you back once he's through. Why do you like to get yourself all worked up? I just hope he's not avoiding my calls because of some useless meeting. Because he will sure get it from me when he comes back. Just wait for him to return first. And I promise not to get involved. You can beat him as much as you want. Mother and son, I don't want to be part of your problems. Before someone will say that Igwe is taking sides. <laughs> That's your business. <laughs> Why do you like to get yourself worried over nothing? He is a man. He can take care of himself. My lord, you should understand how I feel now. Hmm?
chief is calling again. And what do we tell him? Tomorrow I will take care of that. Hello, chief. I want good news, Piccolo. That is a bad news. And I hate to hear that. I don't want that son of a bitch to escape from you. Go out there and fetch him out and finish him off. Now get going. Get out. Thank the gods you are here. Help me save life. Someone is dying, Mama. Who is he? Mama, I don't know. I saw him in the forest. Some boys were trying to kill him. They even shot him. Help me get hot water. Let me use it on him, please. Shot? Yes, Mama. Are you sure he is not a thief? Let's report him to the police. Maybe they will take him to the hospital. Mama, there is no time for this. Help me get hot water. He is dying. He's not a criminal and he doesn't look it. The boys that were coming after him, they are the criminals. They were trying to kill him. I insist we report him to the police. Adok. What are you doing? Mama, Mama, thank the gods you are here. Help me save life. Someone is dying, Mama. Who is he? Mama, I don't know. I saw him in the forest. Some boys were trying to kill him. They even shot him. Help me get hot water. Let me use it on him, please. Shot? Yes, Mama. Are you sure he is not a thief? Let's report him to the police. Maybe they will take him to the hospital. Mama, there is no time for this. Help me get hot water. He is dying. He's not a criminal and he doesn't look it. The boys that were coming after him, they are the criminals. They were trying to kill him. I insist we report him to the police. Mama, I don't like this thing. I help me get hot water. Somebody is dying here. You are not getting me. He's not a criminal. He doesn't look it. you learn all this? Mama, that's a story for another day. Oh, 
for someone in his condition. Mama, take care of my recording. Where are you going? What's there now? Just take care of my recording. Bia, 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 bia. Omo, I can't tell you how to run. Huh? Mama, what's there? I'm coming. I'm scared though. Bia, bia, bia. Some policemen are here to see you. Bring them in. Your Majesty, I'm Inspector Tony. With me here is my colleague, Detective Joe. We are from the Zonal Police Station. Your Highness. Um, Your Majesty, we are made to understand that you are the father of Prince Afam. Uh, yes. yes. What about my son? Sir, your son and his driver were attacked by unknown gunmen earlier on today. What are you talking about? Where is my son? You have to calm down, Your Majesty. Igwe, we believe your son is safe. Though we found the corpse of his driver in the vehicle. But we believe your son is safe. He has gone missing. Right now, we are assuming it's a kidnap. And we are treating the matter as such. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty! Your Majesty, talk now! Goma! 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 Come, 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 you need to say something. Come, sir. Say something. Where? Where? In my place. Come, yeah. really. Come, okay, okay, now. Okay, wait. Let me drop this cloak. Hurry, hurry. Okay, okay. Hey, my dear. Hey. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You must be kidding, right? We are sorry, Chief. Sorry. Sorry. I hate to hear that crap. I didn't hire you to give me that crap. How could you possibly tell me that an unarmed boy escaped from you and you call yourself professionals? Piccolo? Yes, Chief. Sando? Yes, Chief. Go out there, fetch that boy and finish him off! Of course, Chief. We will. What are you still doing there? Get lost! Yes, Alright, Chief. Ada! Ada, that's him! That's him I saw in your paintings! Of course! Of course! Oh, my friend, I am dying of curiosity! Tell me, how did it happen? Or did he fall from the sky? Mm, people don't fall from the sky <laughs> don't now. Don't tell me now! <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You know, that time I went back to get my father's ratchet. Okay. I saw him in the forest. Some people were trying to kill him. I had to hide him from them. He was unconscious. I brought him here with the help of my mother who treated his wound. He was shot anyway. Eh? Yes. Hey, this is so unbelievable. It's so unbelievable. Hey, Ada. Ah, but Ada, that boy is so cute. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Eh? Come. Are you sure he's even human? Don't no, stop, no, no, no. <laughs> Please, officers, I am counting on you. Make sure you find my son and bring him home safely. We'll try our best, Your Majesty. Are you sure you do not know of anyone who could possibly be behind this? I can't think of anyone now. Um, Ma, what about you? Detective, I do not know of anyone who could be targeting my family. I mean, we've done no harm to anyone. I, I want to believe that my son has been kidnapped and all they need is money. I just want my son to be safe. He will. He will be safe. The police is involved now. And we'll take our leave. But meanwhile, Your Majesty, please do not hesitate to inform us once there is a call for ransom. Please. Of course, <laughs> of course I will. I will inform you. Very well then. Thank you, Your Majesty. I feel fear in the What are you telling me? I don't know. I don't know what to say. The police just left the palace right now. They said it's a kidnap case since they didn't see him at the same way they shot the gun. I know I'm so scared. I don't want anything to happen to our father. I don't want anything to happen to my brother. It's all we got. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, you need to calm down. The prince is safe. I'm sure he's fine. He'll be safe wherever he is, okay? Maybe very soon the kidnappers will reach out to you guys. So, you know what? Can, 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 can you just come to? Um, can you just come and stay with me? I feel so lonely. I just need somebody to talk to, please. Um. Um. No, not tonight. But I promise I'll make it first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, I just feel so. All right. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Good night. I feel fear in the oh, Something I don't know keeps bothering me My man is missing I heard he was attacked by some unknown gunmen and has since disappeared into thin air. I want you to get some guys with you, come everywhere, find him wherever he is and make sure you bring him back home safely. Can you handle that? Of course, my number one. Leave that to me. Good. Thank you. Mama, why me? Why me of all people? Why me? I've told him I don't want to serve any girls. When they just leave me alone. Does it mean the elders appeared to you again? Yes, mother. 
Why is it that they always show their ugly faces? Each time I'm about to be happy in life. Isn't this my life? Do I really own it to anyone? Akugum. And I'm Oma. It is your life. You don't owe it to anyone. I feel for you. I am sorry this is happening. I am sorry there is nothing I could do to help. I hate to see you in pain. I hate to see you suffer. I hate the fact that this is happening. Oh God. <laughs> You're any model. Having this dream. I was chilling beside the river. All of a sudden, a hand came out from nowhere and held my leg. 
This mysterious hand dragged me into the river. I was drowning and almost lost my life. When the lady appeared from nowhere and saved my life. But this lady in question never wanted to reveal her face. I begged and begged. And she finally revealed her face. But to my greatest surprise, I woke up this morning and behold, the lady in question that saved my life was standing before me. Do you believe me? Excuse me. friend. I actually thought she was here. Aduga, Aduga. You mean the girl that saved my life? Yes. Oh. So she is responsible for all this? <laughs> my friend Adugo is full of amazing Raw talents. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how did I end here? Well, I guess she's in the best position to tell you that. You are her friend, please tell me. I'm curious. Mm -mm. No, I don't want to get involved. Mm -mm. Feel free and talk to me. I promise to keep it to myself. You promise? Yes. Okay. Well, I do go used to. Ah, uh, hey, Princess, has the priest not returned yet? There has been no news, my dear. Up till this moment, the police haven't come up with anything positive. Even the assumed kidnappers, we've not heard from them. My God, the kidnappers haven't called? I'm scared there were no kidnappers. 
Mom, something terrible must have happened to my brother. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with your brother. I'm very sure he's fine. He's sound. He'll be found, okay? You sound so confident. Is there something you know that we don't? No, Your Highness, no. You know, my instinct, my, my instinct, yes. My instinct tells me that he's fine. Um, have you guys tried contacting the police or something? They came this morning, but with no positive news. So, here you are. I've been searching for you. You know, you should not be going around with your wound. I visited your daughter's art studio. I must confess, she is talented. You see, Adugo is full of amazing talent. She started drawing beautifully when she was six. I never knew she would transform to this today. She can draw anything she sets her eyes on even in her dreams. I learned she's drawing a certain man whom she saw in her dreams, though she tries to hide it from me. But I overheard her telling her friend, Gom, <laughs> how funny kids can be. How could she know that it was only a dream, that such a man can never be yeah. Oh. You need to come and eat something and have your medicine before contacting your people. Hmm? It's okay. Let's go. Thank you very much. Look at me that way. You suspect something. Oh, go man. You almost screwed up today. No, I don't think he suspects anything. Hello? What's up? Have you found him? Don't give me that answer. Listen, look for him wherever he is and make sure you bring him back home safely. Stop making promises, just deliver. Good. Also in his dreams. Hey! 
What a feat, eh? You're sad again. Come on, share up, be happy. Fate just brought the man of your dreams your way. You should be happy. Ananda, that boy Amaka, eh? And he seems to be in love with you as well. God, be happy, my friend. Cheer up, eh? Be happy. You guys just found each other. Cheer up. Of course I am. Come, I'm sad. Because I'm scared. I want what I need, babe. Why? Why? Scared. Why? You know the answer. It feels like happening. Oh, the world is changing. So nothing can be done about this. Nothing. Mm. It will help heal your wound. My daughter prepared it for you. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. Um, you've not told me anything about you. My name is Afam. Afam Efuna. I am from Umochu Kingdom. Ah, Umochu Kingdom. Ah, our wealthy neighbors. Tell me, why were those people after your life? I don't know. I don't know now. They just appeared from nowhere and attacked us. They even killed my driver. What? They killed your driver? Huh? Those people, they are really heartless. Huh? Huh? I thank God they did not find you people. My daughter told me everything. Your daughter took a big risk to save my life. You are worried. What is wrong? I need to talk to my people. You are right. But first, eat your food. Then we'll know how to contact them. Hmm? Once again, thank you very much. Piccolo, what do you think we should opt out from this game? No, Sandro. You know, Chief. You must shock them after us. So we have to keep us from here. The closest village from this place is Umudini. Then let's eat Umudini. Sure. But it seems rather weird, Your Majesty, that the kidnappers have not contacted you up till now. It bothers me too. But Inspector, what if there were no kidnappers? 
What if my son is no longer alive? Um, Your Highness, whoever these men are, I believe they only abducted your son. They chased him into the bush. And from the trail they left behind, I, I believe they, at a point they caught him and disappeared. Your Highness, whoever they are, I believe they want him alive. And they caught him alive and disappeared. Your Highness. Then where did they take him to? Why haven't they contacted us? If they only abducted him for the purpose of extorting money from us. That is exactly what we are trying to investigate right now, Your Majesty. But, uh, Your Majesty, remember I've asked you this before. Can you not think of anyone who could possibly be behind this? I mean, you know, your business associates, political rival, even a close friend. But you need to think closely, Your Majesty. Think. No. I seriously can't think of anyone. No one. Very well then, Your Majesty. We have to get back to work now. Permit us to leave your majesty. I lost my appetite. Odichi, where is your daughter Dugo? Her presence is needed now at the Jenny River. My daughter? Yes! Odichi, she is not at home. You are lying to me! She's in there! Her presence is needed now! Now! This is fun. <laughs> I do it almost every day. Are you serious? It's so fun doing it with you this time. <laughs> Let's run for that. No, with one hand. Is it not hurting you? No, I feel strong. All thanks to the help you gave me. But, who was that? Someone I don't want to see. But he sounds like your uncle. Yes. Oh, did she? You said your daughter Dugo went to the neighboring village to see a friend. But she was here some seconds ago. That's not true, Ichi. You are taking me for granted. You are taking me for granted. She was about having her food here in the living room. And when she heard my voice, she escaped. Let me tell you people, you are not deceiving me, you are deceiving yourselves. This is one thing you cannot avoid. It is better you bring her now for submission 
to avoid the wrath of the gods. Because if this happens, I will not forgive you. It's better for you to be wise. If I were you, I would be wise. Bring her for submission. Wherever she's hiding, wherever she's hiding, if she comes out, tell her that the elders want her at the Jenny River immediately. My mom once told me that it's only a naughty child that runs at the voice of his or her parents. Now tell me, what did you do wrong that made you run at the voice of your uncle? You are funny. What do you think I did wrong? I'm not a naughty girl. I'm a good girl. Do you know I have evidence against you? You don't have any evidence, I bet. You don't have, you don't know the reason. Don't just come to me because I ran away from my uncle. You don't know why. I want to know. Tell me why. I'm not telling you, John. Ah, that's harsh. What? I visited your art studio and I saw beautiful paintings there. I must confess, you are such a talent. Did you see any art? No. Was there something I was supposed to see? No, I'm just asking. Let's go. He might. He must have gone by now. Let's go back home. Okay. Excuse me. Let me use this. Okay. All is well, ma. Yes, my son. You can now go in and have some rest. Okay. Go okay. inside. Mama, what did you say? And what do you think he said? <laughs> Am I more? I am more. Guy, what's up? Any show? Man, not at all. We have done all we could. But it does not look like he stepped into this village. Where in this world could he be? shot him. We missed and he escaped. Doesn't that sound as if we're in the movies? We are sorry, Chief. That again, I will castrate you. Piccolo. Yes, Chief. Sando. Yes, Chief. Go out there. Find that boy and kill him. Understood. Yes, Chief. 
boss out. I am the law. No one steals from me. It seems I got you angry. Why? Maybe I said something wrong that got you angry. No, you didn't say anything wrong. I'm not angry with you. So why are you moody? I'm just tired. I need to take some rest. Excuse me. I will be leaving tomorrow. Of course you should. I want you to accompany me home. So, Mom, does it mean my brother is dead or alive? Please, don't just say that. Please. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? The police cannot point out where he is, whether he's alive or dead. Mom, did you hear that? Did you hear what they said? They said he probably he escaped with a gunshot. But am I supposed to believe that? Please. Am I supposed to believe that he's alive? Please, let's just be positive here. Please, my daughter, let's be positive. Let's believe and pray that, that all is well with him. Please. I don't know what, what I would do if I should look for my son and... Oh, Jesus. I just hope he's okay. <laughs> I can see your face filled with satisfaction because you have found the mind of your dreams. But what makes you think he is the happiness you seek? Can you just leave me alone? Adogo, you cannot resist me anymore. I have been patient enough with you. Any more resistance will propel me to bring catastrophe upon you and your loved ones. You have two sunsets to consent or live the rest of your life in regret. I just told you to leave me alone. Am I asking for too much? Let me be for crying out loud. Leave me alone. Go back to the pit of hell where you belong. Two sunsets. I do go. I feel fear in the Again, thank you very much for all you did. I really appreciate. Ha! Nkoma, where are you going to dress like this? Actually, I asked her to come and travel with you people. At least you need a friend by your side. Why traveling to a strange land? Mama. Mama. I told you I'm from the neighboring village. It is not a strange land. But if that will make Ada feel comfortable, it's okay by me. Of course. Thank you for coming, Koma. You're welcome. Anything for my friend. <laughs> so, Mama, we have to take you home and return immediately. Please. Okay. Return immediately? Mm -hmm. No. We agreed you will spend the night. 
Spend the night. Anyways, it all depends how comfortable you feel there. Trust me, you people will be very comfortable. Hey, Adam. Mama. Please don't stay long over there. You know I'm staying alone in this house. Eh? You have to come back on time. Please. No, well, she's safe and fine, okay? Once again, thank you very much. You're welcome. <sighs> My prince! My prince, you're welcome. My, my prince, prince. Welcome. My prince We all thought you were dead. Where is my father? It's inside my prince. Did you say you are from Umudim Kingdom? Yes, Your Majesty. What clan? Okenta clan, Your Majesty. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for saving the life of my son. And I promise to reward you immensely for your kind gesture. Once again, thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. <coughs> um, thank you so much for saving the life of my husband. insist to go much should have sat there. I hate repeating myself. I want to do go by my side today. Please, let's eat the food. It's getting cold. She was born and bred in the village. We are not here to discuss her. Concentrate on your food. That's rude, Afi. What message was she trying to pass? 
Don't tell me what's her point. Enough. No more talking. That's bad table manners. I hope you girls are having fun. Yes, we are looking around the compound. Okay. I hope our agreement is still intact. What agreement taking? We agreed that you people will spend the night here. <laughs> My mother will be missing me already. Don't use your mother as an excuse because she can't call. Okay. Okay. We are staying. We are staying. I want to look around the compound. Relax. You can run that up okay? I will see you people later. Thank you. Thank you. trying to insult me in there because of that dirty village thing? No. You were the one trying to insult yourself. Me? Insult myself? What was that for? Well, tell me, what's your problem? You were jealous, complex, or insecurity. I can't believe that you turned into a pathetic human sight of that innocent girl. I may be pathetic, yes. You made me so. I felt ignored. I felt unnoticed. I felt unappreciated. My prince, you do not seem to appreciate my presence around here today, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I am talking about. That girl saved your life. That I know. But tell me, do you feel anything for her more than appreciation or is it something I should worry about? Goma, I have more important things to do with my time. Excuse me. Hmm. Ada, did you ever imagine that he could be the son of Igwo Shendo? Of course not. Huh. Mother will be very shocked to hear this. I wonder why he hid it from us all this while. That boy is just full of surprises. Hmm. Ada, I can't believe my eyes at all. And he seems to have affection for you. Yes. Maybe. But... Hi, girls. Are you guys not done yet? Excuse me? Why? Why? 
Isn't your mission here complete yet? And you? Did you actually accompany the prince back home because you were concerned about his safety? Or you capitalized on the fact that you saved his life to get closer to him? Please! We just brought the prince back home and we'll soon be on our way back. Eh? <laughs> Maybe you. But her? Huh? I do not think so. FYI, girl, you're a minute too late. The prince and I are engaged and we're going to be getting married very soon. What that simply means is that what you need. Do you understand? Do you understand? Good. Dirty things. Oh, we're trash. We're Where is father? Oh, um, he should be in his chambers with some guests. What of Adugo and her friend? I can't find them. They should be around the compound. No. I searched everywhere and they are nowhere to be found. I'm sorry, my friends. I saw her leaving the compound minutes ago with her friend. Leaving? She can't just leave like that. My I wanted to have some chit chat with her. My queen, I think she had a fight with her two good men. I saw her talking to them before they left angry. Sorry? Say that again. I think she had a fight with her two good men. I saw her talking to them before they left angry. Before the prince. Look at out from here. Get out! Can you imagine this stupid? Goma, what did you tell Abugo that made her leave this palace without telling anyone? You didn't turn back to discuss about that common. That common has saved my life. Without her, I would have been dead by now. Yes, she saved your life, that I know. And you are nothing except appreciation which you've done more than enough. So, she had to walk away. She didn't just walk away. Answer my question. What did you tell her? I told her what she needed to know. I noticed she had overstepped her bounds. So I had to do what I had to do. Which is? Tell her about us. By the way, how come you did not introduce me to her as your fiancé? Ata, it's okay. Stop crying. You develop a deck. Yeah. What happened?
come? Mama. When did you come back? Mama, not quite long. And why is my daughter crying? It's not him, Mama. It's just that she found out about Prince Afam. Prince? Who is Prince Afam? The boy she saved. Many things are happening. He is a prince? The world is changing. Yes, Mama. He is the son of Igo Shendo, of Umochu Kingdom. Hey! Everything are you serious? Yes, Mama. But why did he hide it from us? Wait, too. Did he do anything bad to my daughter? Not him, Mama. It's just that Adugo found out that Prince Afam has a girl she wants to settle down with. So she just devastated. Is that why you're crying? Come, let's go inside. Come. Hey, so that boy is the Cause I don't know anymore. What the world is turning to. By the way, where is the prince? Go and call him. Dad, I don't think he's anywhere around this house. How do you mean? I saw him leaving the palace some couple of minutes ago. To where? I know. To see that girl he claims saved his life. You can't be too sure of that unless he told you. He didn't tell me. But he left to see her after blaming me for making her leave without telling anyone. Your Highness, whatever he feels for that girl is more than mere appreciation. Good evening, my prince. I learned you are the prince of Umochu Kingdom. Yes, ma. But why didn't you inform us? Why did you hide it from us? Anyway, don't worry. I understand. Is it's because it has little or no meaning to us, because we are world apart. Please don't talk like that, ma. I was only waiting for the right time. The truth is, I love your daughter. Yes. I love your daughter so much. Not even our class can be a barrier. Did you say love? Yes, ma'am. Loving someone means sacrificing for the person. Standing by him or her, even when the whole world is against the person. Being ready to face whatever predicament him or her is facing together and being everything for that person. I know all that, ma. That's what... Excuse me. Ada? What did you say? And I mean every bit of what I said. I love you from the deepest part of my heart. 
Though I have been trying to conceal it. How can you possibly say that when you don't know the real me? Ada, you've been in my dream for years. And I have been in your dream for years too. You even made a portrait of me before we met. We are destined to be together. The fact that you saved my life that particular day was not an accident. We cannot be destined for each other. We have so oneness. I don't love Ugoma. I don't even have feelings for her. And I never promised her marriage. She's just under the illusion my parents created. My friends, we can't be made for each other. It's not possible. And I'm not a baby. What I feel for you is real. I confirmed it the moment you left the palace without telling me. It was like part of me left. And that's why I rushed down to this place to tell you how much I love and cherish you. Ada, please, I love you from the deepest part of my heart. My mother just defined love to you. Are you ready for all that? Many things are happening. Oh, the world is changing. I am Betty. Oh, yeah, Betty. Cause I don't know anymore what the world is turning to. Have you made up your mind? No. My answer still remains no. Get someone else. There is no one else, Aluna. You are my daughter from Bet. Betrothed to be my eye in the physical world. This bond has been made, established before you were brought into this world. You cannot betray me now. This is a mission you must complete. I can never serve you! I can never! Adugo. 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 I can see you're not ready to return this. I will leave you to your fate. Ada? Ada? Adugo? Ada? Adugo? This is more than a sleep. Adugo? Ada? Adugo. Ada. Adugo. Is she sleeping? Yes. I have been trying to wake her up, but to no avail. Could you please excuse me for a moment? Okay. I hope all is well. Yes, there is no problem. Just, just excuse me for a moment. Okay.
Why didn't you go with the prince? Your Highness, I'm sorry. He said he wanted to go alone. I couldn't convince him. Lies! I'm pretty sure he wants to spend the night with her. Uguma! Oh, please! What do you expect of a man who is still out by this time of the night with a lady he's not engaged to? Limba presence! Thank you, Your Highness. Ada. Ada, mom. Apugo. Nene, please wake up for your mother. Hmm? Come back to your mother now. You have been there for too long. I have to go. My mother needs me. That woman does not need you more than I do. This is your last chance, Adubo. And I'm giving you my answer. Then you are not ready to go back to your so-called mother. You laugh. My mother needs me and you cannot stop me. That woman did not make you. I brought you into this world. You did not make me. I have no links with you. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Adugo. If you have no link with me, then what are you doing here? To make my stand clear to you. To tell you to give me some peace of mind. Whatever covenant you had with my grandmother before my birth ended with her. You cannot use me to achieve your selfish and evil games. Watch your mouth, you ah! insolent daughter of man. Good you know I'm a daughter of man, not yours. Let immortals deal with immortals, and mortals deal with mortals. Let me go! Ada. Ada became... Norma. Hey. Mama. What is going on? Is she alright? Yes. She... She, she is alright. Then why is she not waking up? Ada? Adugo? Ada. Ada, what was the meaning of that? You scared us. That is why you're not supposed to be with me. Uguma, Uguma, where, where are you going to? Where do you think? You mean you won't wait for him to get back home? Is that what you really think? I should continue waiting for a prince who's probably relaxing in the arms of another woman. That's what you advise I should do. Uguma, you have to calm down. We're not even sure if he's with the girl. You are not sure. I am certain. I have no doubt about that. Okay, fine. I mean, I won't stop you. Try and come back tomorrow so that you guys can fix things. I'm sorry, I can't promise or assure you that.
I was introduced to the Oracle when I was 12. Strange things do happen to me. I used to think they were just dreams. Not until a few years back. It became very obvious to me. My mission. What mission? My grandmother was a priestess before she died. She dedicated me to the oracle when I was born. As a priestess, I'm not supposed to fall in love with any man, except the oracle permits. Most priestesses do not get married. Some do. See why I'm scared. Listen, my love, you don't have to be scared, okay? This is 21st century, no oracle, I repeat, no oracle is in the position to decide your fate. I will walk through this lane with you. My prince, you don't understand what I'm talking about. You have to go. It's very risky staying close to me. Shh. For you, it's risky. For me, it's an honor. Like I said before, I am ready to walk through this lane with you. I have given you my word. And my word is my bond. <laughs> wonderful person. Honestly, your type is rare. You are truly a gift from the gods. I never believed anyone will know my daughter's predicament and still stick with her. Thank you very much. Mama, I should be the one thanking you for giving me the chance to prove how much I love and appreciate your daughter. Love is all about sacrifice and I am ready to sacrifice all I have just to prove how much I love Adugo. You will? My word is my bond. May the gods strengthen both of you. Breaking news. I will spend the night here. Oh, Your Majesty, could you believe that your son has decided to spend the night with that girl? How did you know that? He just called the sister. Oh, that means he's fine. I'll see him tomorrow morning. Your Majesty, is that all you have to say? What would you want me to say, woman? 
He is a man and he has made his decision. The most important thing is that he is safe. Come on, let's go to bed. It's late. Father, mother, I'm sorry for not coming back last night. That still doesn't explain why you came home with her this morning. I was coming to that. I brought her here because I want to officially introduce her to you people as my wife to be. What? Are you out of your senses? You know what? Go in there. Take a cold bath. Eat and then go to sleep. Because that's exactly what you need right now. Nonsense. Look at them. Father, with all due respect, this is my choice. It seems your mother doesn't like me. The truth is that my mother and Goma's mother have been friends for some years now. For that reason, my mother wants me to marry Goma. Just for the sake of their friendship, which is very, very wrong, yes. Marriage is deeper than that. I can't just marry Goma because my mother and her mother are friends. Marriage is deeper than that. I don't even have feelings for Goma. So give them a little time. They will get used to you. Okay? I know so. Even your mother? Yes. Just give her a little time. She will get used to you. Okay? Good. Enjoy your drink. My son, tell me you didn't mean what you said about that girl, Abinishi. Father, I can't joke with a thing like that. I'm serious. I haven't seen Adugo in my dreams for like three years now. Remember the nightmare I had when a lady was trying to drown me in the river? All of a sudden, another lady came out and saved my life. I thought you said she was faceless. How come she's now wearing Adugo's face? She revealed her face to me a few days ago. And to my greatest surprise, the face that saved me in my dream was the face I saw in Adugo's room. Really? Yes. What about the one that was trying to drag you into the river? Have you seen that face? No. But I never had that nightmare again since I met Adugo. The truth is, fate and destiny brought Adugo and I together. Remember, she saved my life. If not for Adugo, I would have been dead by now. I don't believe in those fairy tales. That doesn't mean she is the woman destined for you. Goma is the right woman for you. Mother, I don't have feelings for Goma. 
I don't even know you anymore. Or do you want me to marry someone I don't have feelings for? Forever is too long to spend with your total stranger. I think I understand, son. I don't understand anything. I will never consent to anything that will make you turn your back on Uguma and bring in that thing from the slums into this house as a wife. Never. I don't have feelings for Uguma and nothing can change that. Excuse me, ma. Never. Not in this house. I can't take it from anyone. Princess, where is that beach? There's no beach in this house. What are you talking about? Don't fucking give me that attitude because you know what I'm talking about. Where's the beach? Oh, you didn't tell me and you thought I wasn't going to find out? I found out. Don't tell me you're supporting your brother in this regard. Stop it! Not at all! Then where is the beach? Just bring it down. I... I think she's inside this room. <laughs> it has gone that far. Calm down, I see. You, you, you have to. You have to. <sighs> what the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing in my man's room? I'm talking to you. What the fuck are you doing here? My friend, get, 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 get the hell out of here. Are you stupid? What is wrong with you? Eat your. What is going on here? Huh? How dare you touch my woman? She is not your woman and I will hit her! Don't. The next time you touch her, I will disfigure your face. Are you actually putting up a defense? For this girl, this slut, in my presence? Stop calling her names. I'm warning you. Afan, what is wrong? I can't fight for my fiance. I am not your fiance. Did I engage you? Did I propose to you? Do you even know the meaning of fiance? You are insulting me. You're insulting me in the presence of this girl. Princess, you wouldn't just stand here and not say anything while you watch your brother insult me. You... Amaka. Oh. Take Uguma out of this place. I'm losing it. Ugu, please let go. We can resolve this later. No, don't, 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 don't touch go, me. Please. Don't. You heard me. I hate repeating myself. Take Ugoma out don't of this place. Me. I'm losing no. it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Listen up, I do go or whatever useless or meaningless name that you are called. You're playing with fire and it's going to burn you if you're not careful. You were fast 
pushing me to a limit or a point where I'll be forced to bite. I hate 